big cartel website tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use big cartel and how you can use it to create your very own online store and online website so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here on bigcartel.com and straight up what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on the sign up button over here at the top right corner but before i do that i just want to show you the pricing plan so that you know that's out of the way so over here is the pricing plan so as you can see there are three pricing plans the free we have the free plan then we have the standard plan and then we have the pro plan so in the free plan you will have five products and you will have golden features over here one image per product free customizable themes sell online and in person real-time stats use a custom domain offer discounts and earn promos uh, shipment tracking product option groups and sale tax autopilot then in the standard one you have the platinum features which has five images per product free customizable themes sell online and in person all of that and then you will also have theme code editing google analytics you will have discounts and promos bulk editing shipment tracking product option groups and sale taxes as well and then you have the pro one which is 19.99 dollars per month and in it you will get 500 products and these have the diamond features five images per product free customizable themes online all of that good stuff and actually if we compare these features with the uh, standard one it doesn't really you know make a lot of difference but the only real difference is that instead of 50 products you will now have 500 products so depending but all the features are the same so depending upon how many products you want you can go with this one or this one it all depends on you but for now we're going to sign up with the free version just so that you can see how it looks like so let's get started so i'm going to go ahead and sign up over here using the email address then you will have to enter in your password shop name url and just simply click on sign up so i'm going to go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so once you've signed in this is how it's going to look like so you have your dashboard, your orders, your products, your discounts, and your account settings. So over here, you will have a get started checklist. So you have to complete this checklist in order to maximize or finalize your account, right? So adding a product, exploring shipping profiles, connecting a payment processor, designing your shop, and launching your shop. So let's get into it. So first, we're going to go ahead and add a product, as is said over here. So we're going to go ahead and click on add products right here. And... We'll just simply click on add products over here if you want to import products you can do that as well so let's go ahead and do that as well so i already have a csv file so let's see if i can import it so i'm going to click over here and it should be in here here we go so I click on import products let's see if it works all right so here we go so these are the products so what we'll do now is We'll go ahead and add the products. We have all of the options over here. Yeah, I think that looks good. So yeah, it's hidden. I don't know why it is hidden, but let's see. Here we go. The status is hitting. So from status, we can go with active and click on save. There we go. The product has been set to active. So let me just go ahead and set to active all of these products and then we will continue all right so we're all done now if you wanted to add a product manually what you could do is just simply click on add product over here right and then just simply comp compare products but i think we have reached the five limit the limit of five products so i think we're good but it's very simple you just click on the button and then you input all of these information that they ask such as the images the names of the products the categories and all of the pricings and sizes and variants and all of that and once you've done that you're good to go so that's pretty much it next step for us to do is to go ahead and click on the shipping profile so we'll click over here and we have the shipping profile right over here so you can go ahead and edit this out but in order to i think fully maximize it you need to go ahead and you know upload or upgrade your profile or plan but let's actually see it so these are the profiles over here we can add a shipping profile or as you can see over here we'll just call it default and over here we'll add the shipping rates and over here as you can see if you want everywhere so 
then the standard tracking would be over here i would say for the first item it would be maybe like ten dollars depending on what you want and then for each additional ones we'll also add ten dollars then we'll click on done then for the next day this is like the next day delivery this is going to be expensive so 20 to 30 dollars i think so this one could also be i would say 30 dollars and click on done and customer pickup this i think is zero dollars i think that would look nice so next we could go ahead and save it and now we are good to go your shipping rates have us created now we can go back to the dashboard there you go next thing we need to do is connect a payment processor so over here you will see get paid so over here you have to set up your payment processors so just simply set up your payment options over here click over here and then just simply click on connect over here connect to your paypal account and enter in your email address that you have set up on your paypal account and you are good to go then this will be completed now unfortunately i don't have a paypal account because it does not work in my region so i can't show you and stripe isn't available currently so yeah that's also a pretty bad thing next all you have would have to do is design your shop so simply click over here design your shop and over here you will see you have this option right here on the right side design right next to your shop so just simply click over here and you can go ahead and start designing your website so over here as you can see this is the website and this is how it's going to look like you, this is all the products that you have over here you have a contact form a card you have your shop's name now over here on the left side you have your main options you can add like a header image uh, the repeating background image and a slideshow as well you can add or change the colors you can change the background color secondary color the primary text color secondary text link hover and all of that and then you have your fonts announcement text maintenance mode and all of that but everything looks good but uh, you can go ahead and add different stuff so over here let's go ahead and add a header image over here i'm going to upload this logo let's see how it looks like all right so that's how it looks like so yeah i think that looks pretty cool and then you can add like a repeating background as well so i actually don't know which background to choose uh, i'll just choose this image right here and see how that one looks like if it looks good we'll leave it if it doesn't we'll delete it maybe like choose another but uh the overall website does look pretty awesome though all right so yeah this does not look good so we'll just delete that so i think this white background looks much better so pretty much this is how it looks like right so what if you wanted to click on the one of these items so let's say this item right wanted to buy this item click on it and then we will have the name the price this description over here you can select the color select the size and click on add to cart and boom pretty much that's it so yeah this looks good so let's go ahead and click on publish at the bottom right corner and our site will be published all right there you go it is now published i believe yeah so next all we need to do is just exit it now if you wanted to let's say overall change the theme of it over here at the top left corner you have themes so as you can see you have a bunch of different themes that you can use we are currently using the luna theme which is like the standard theme but we also have a bunch of other ones such as slide care ranger trace foundry parade and snacks set lights like all of these ones you can go ahead and use them as well you can go ahead and use them as well but i think we're good so what we need to do now is just simply exit it and go back to our dashboard and the final thing left for us to do is to launch our shop so we click over here to launch your shop and then just simply click on launch and your shop will be launched there you go so then you can go ahead and copy this link and share it to your friends and family members and you are good to go so as you can see congrats you finally launched your shop and you are done so pretty much that's it that's how you do it that's how you use big cartel and that's how you create an amazing website and how you can create a shop online so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye